So, you want to build a WooCommerce store. Great choice. Today, I'll show you how to launch your first WooCommerce product for the whole world to see. Stay tuned. WooCommerce offers a powerful, customizable, and cost-effective solution for setting up an e-commerce store backed by the reliability and flexibility of WordPress. And that's precisely why it's still a trustworthy platform with a solid framework for selling products and services online, even in 2024. WooCommerce brings the freedom to choose all the crucial site components, including the hosting plan, something that acts as a fundamental ingredient to power your site, Note that this video will focus more on how to add products in WooCommerce rather than how to set up your store from the ground up. If you need a complete guide on how to set up WooCommerce, I'll leave a link to another video in the description below. It'll be much easier if you've got a clear plan for which products you want to list and how to organize them before you add your first item to the site. Find out if the products that you want to sell are charged for tax according to the official regulations in your region. This way, you can have a better pricing strategy and ensure your online store won't violate any official tax regulations. Just know that the rules will be different according to where you'll be running your business. Other than that, the most essential factor that will make your products compelling are high-quality images. You don't need to pay for professional services or expensive cameras. Your smartphone's camera will do just fine in the beginning as long as you present good lightning to highlight all those lovely details. Use a light, bright background to keep the focus on the product and consider multiple angles and close-ups to give a comprehensive view. Or you can also show the product in use, such as someone holding or wearing it, which can help customers visualize your product in their own lives. To keep a professional look on your site, you need to maintain consistency and image size and style across your product range. That was probably the fastest crash course I could muster on how to make your products catch your customer's eyes. Now that you have the essentials in mind, navigate to the WooCommerce's Products menu and click the Add New button. Just like creating a regular WordPress post, you need to add a product name, which essentially acts as a title, and provide a product description. For a simpler process, benefit from our AI content creator to generate a draft of your product page. Simply head to your hosting or dashboard and select AI Content Creator. Choose your product type, tone of voice, and content length from the drop-down menu. Then write your prompt below. There's no need to overthink. Simply pour your heart out and let the AI do the rest. If you have any keywords you wish to optimize, you can also list them in your description. If you're done, hit Generate Content. You'll see your AI-generated product page ready to go. If you feel happy with it, click the Edit as a Draft button that will take you to the page editing interface. Your product page is now ready, complete with a default stock image. Skim through the text and tweak any details according to your branding strategy. Then change the product image to your own curated product page. Click Remove Image, then upload your picture to the media library. Don't forget to fill in the alt text to improve your product page's visibility on search engines. In order to do that, press Set Product Image. In case you want to add more than one page, choose Product Gallery instead. If you're done with this step, you can categorize your product to include different items within the same niche. This will be beneficial for improving your site's overall user experience, especially if you plan to sell a wide range of different products. Locate the Product Categories section and select Add New Category. I'll leave it up to you and your creativity on how to name it. If you want to create subcategories, simply create a parent category. Grouping related items together like this will allow customers to locate similar products more quickly. It might seem like a small detail, but it can go a long way. Now, let's move on by scrolling down the page further. To optimize your site's visibility for search engines, I strongly recommend installing an SEO plugin. For example, I'll be using All-in-One SEO. See? There's a new dedicated SEO section after activating the plugin. Each SEO plugin will have a slightly different interface, but most of them are tailored with beginners in mind. Most of the time, you just need to follow the guidelines and tips that appear on the screen. Since it's optional, let's go straight to the product data page. Here you can add detailed information about your products. Start with identifying your product type from this drop-down menu. Simple product refers to a standalone item that is shipped without additional options. For example, physical books. Only if you choose this category, you'll see virtual and downloadable checkboxes. 
These are meant to decide the product configuration settings later on, as virtual products won't require shipping and downloadable products need a different delivery journey. Next, if you need to sell a product in bulk, like a dozen custom tailored t-shirts, for example, it should go under grouped products. Meanwhile, external products should include all the goods advertised on your WordPress website, but sold elsewhere. If the items have varying qualities like size or color, they'll be categorized as variable product. In conclusion, each of the product types will have different configurations. For example, if you choose variable product, the product setup menus will be different from simple product. However, there's a setting that's present in all product types, and that's attributes. It lets you filter the products by size, color, fabric, or other specific features to help customers choose what they're looking for. Moreover, the setup can be applied independently to each product or the entire website. After taking care of all the product data, scroll down a bit to fill in the product short description. This will appear as a quick excerpt shown below your product image. Once done, scroll the page back up to save it as a draft first, or if you're confident, simply hit publish to make it live in an instant. Repeat this process until you finish adding all your products and move on to the next step. With the products listed, you'll need to set up payment methods for your customers so that you can also receive the money, right? I'll include a link in the description below for more in-depth information, but first, let's at least get a basic overview. If you navigate to WooCommerce settings, open the Payments tab. You'll be suggested to set up WooPayments, which is a built-in payment feature specifically tailored for a WooCommerce site. If you prefer, you can proceed to connect a WordPress.com account to set it up. Otherwise, you can choose any payment method you want and complete the setup process. You'll need to set up your bank account and business profile verification to connect with the payment gateway. Once done, simply enable a payment channel on your site. What's fantastic about it all is that you'll be able to configure your tax settings or set different shipping zones however you wish. To streamline both processes, you can connect WooCommerce shipping and tax which will automate a lot of your online store's tax and shipping calculations. It will function according to your store's region and the shipping zones you've set. You'll need a WordPress.com account to complete the process, but other than that, you'll also require to activate the Jetpack plugin to add this feature. Lastly, don't forget to design your online store's front page by choosing a theme from the WordPress directory and customizing it to match your branding strategy. Now, off to the last part of this video testing and publishing your product. You're so close to launching your online store. At the final stage, it would be a good idea to access your site and check if every link is taking you to the right page. Check if the prices and tax settings are correct, which is also very important. We can also ask for your friend or family's opinion on your newly launched product page. This way, you'll get a fresh insights on how to improve your e-commerce site before promoting it to a broader audience. In case you need to perform any significant changes on the site, put it in maintenance mode instead. This prevents your customers from seeing unfinished or error pages, something you don't want people to witness. Here's a quick video tutorial on that. Congratulations on your store launch. Let me know the shop that you're going to launch in the comments. I'd love to see how it goes. If you have further questions, you can also leave them there or contact our customer success team to help you troubleshoot any technical difficulties. Show some love by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends if you feel like you've learned something new today. Subscribe to catch more website development videos like this every week and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any updates from us. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.